What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. So we got a painter coming. Well, my contractor, he does all my work for me. We're gonna paint this place. You can see the walls. They've always been like this since I moved in from the, the pallet racking they had in here, the previous tenant. Here's the story. When I moved in here, it's so clean in here. I even mopped the floor. It's so nice. So when I moved in, the landlord said, hey, do you want us to paint these walls? We can get them painted for you. But um, I don't plan well. I ordered a truckload of product and it was literally being delivered the next day here before I even looked at it other than pictures on a loop net or wherever I saw it. So I told him, nope, nope, we're good. Just give me the keys. And that means the walls were never painted. And they're so ugly. I mean, aside from where the racking was, you can see it's not very even up there. They must have installed this window um, at some point after it was painted because it's got the bare bricks. And if we go over here, it's the same thing with this window. So I'm going to have this all painted. We're going to paint this wall here. We're going to paint from that edge down. Then we're going to paint this entire wall. Now, or I am going to go up to that second pipe up there just because, you know, so you don't see a line where it was white or where it's whiter than before. But I'm going to stop it there just because I've got so much stuff up there. That's something that can be done at a later date. And I'm not doing any other parts of the warehouse. Because this over here, see, that's what I'm trying to avoid. This over here, uh, we might be finishing off. We, If we get that space, which is still up in the air, we'll be taking this wall out and then extending this room down here. So that'll be finished off, so there's no reason to paint it. Um, and over here, well, good luck painting this. They just painted, at some point, someone just painted the bottom half of the wall for some reason. Uh, good luck painting that. And then this wall was actually painted when I moved in, shortly after I moved in, because that door was right here and there's no overhead door. If you remember, I've got a video on Facebook in this from this place when I first moved in, before I've moved anything in. It was, um, if you wanna look, June or July of 2016 on the Resale Rabbit Facebook page, but you can see the edge there, how they painted it, because this is, a lot of this is new wall. You can see right by the exit sign, the two different types of brick. Um, because they obviously to put this door in and everything they had to rip out the wall So that part's painted. This is just bare. That was never painted. There's no need to So basically we're painting this so he's on his way here to come look at it Just to uh, get an idea of what needs to be done um, You know as far as what what's getting taped off and everything and I am going to tomorrow morning clear this little bit of stuff out and uh and we'll start painting well he, he will start painting i'm not gonna do it i don't know if he's gonna clean the wall or if he can just paint over it he'll know better than me but obviously there are things like cobwebs that need to come out this is us trying to organize our hangers to make it easier for the next sale but uh you know window will have to be taped off and door will have to be taped off the air curtain and everything I'm thinking about replacing these outlets as well, just because they look so crappy. And that's something I can do myself, but uh, just replacing the receptacles themselves, this, the plate he can paint, the conduit he can paint. But it's not gonna be too, too big of a deal. I gotta move my, don't you hate it when the telemarketers call when you're filming? So I was saying, I gotta move my donkey. And, um, that's really about all I need to do. Move that and then the stuff on the floor here. I, I just need to move it, you know, six feet from the wall or so to give them a space to work. We're just going to go to this corner here. Uh, I'm not going to go down that way because first off, that actually looks like it's been painted uh, after this. It looks nicer. And again, it's also covered with stuff. So that's the plan. Well, it was a busy day here so far. We've got, uh, I got this area kind of organized a bit, cleaned up. It was, uh, it's still kind of a mess. There's still a lot to go. This display case will go back out when we uh, clean up or when the painting's done. I've got that stuff to go through yet. These carts, I'm gonna get back to the storage unit. But uh, up there, that is the hangers. He, uh, we ran out of boxes, of banana boxes, so he put, Let's walk in here. 
some boxes, some big boxes of hangers. Oh, that's a lot of boxes. Might need to uh, figure out a better place for that. Uh, but those are in here. But we've got them all organized by size. The, uh, you know, the small, medium, large, whatever it says on the hanger makes it a little, it make it easier next time. This room filled it back up, kind of. We've got shopping carts. We've got the shoe rack shelves. There's the shoe racks. There's the clothes racks. That way, yeah, I thought about putting them back in the storage unit, but I got to take the time to do that and then take the time to haul them back up for the next one. I've got one more clothes rack to shove here and then the inventory going in the next sale. I actually found a box full of Shopco shoes and clothes. Some of it uh, is going to the next sale. Some of it I got rid of. Um, and then down here, the loading dock is looking pretty good. Stacked up the regular pallets, stacked up the blue pallets. I'm going to call the rep and have them pick those up. He is not going to pick that one up unless he wants to restack that pallet because I'm not going to because I'm going to ship that out. Uh, that is just, so that is garbage. We'll be hauled out. It's not even on a pallet anymore. That is just those lawnmowers, these things. I, I'm still unsure of what I'm going to do with those. We've got some cabinets there, an empty, big empty box, some loose items there. That's all garbage. The one next to it, there's only a few water coolers left in there. We've got a pallet of flooring and two pallets of stuff going in a local auction, and that is it up there. And then this thing. And now, let's take a walk to the other side. So the walls are mostly primed. They're done for the day. They're going to come back, hopefully finish up tomorrow. Uh, but the primer's up. It's like they missed a little there. or I, I don't know if they need to go really thick or what. Uh, they still have to do the bottom of this wall. And then up here, we're going to that second pipe. So they have to do that yet. But um, And then along the door and everything. Uh, but it's all taped off. You can see the masking tape on the door there. Um, Still a decent amount. A piece fell off of that. If you look, you can see the bottom of that white trim is missing. It wasn't even like screwed to the wall or anything. It was just like wedged in there. And when he was using the roller, it fell off. So I just threw it away. Um, that vent, I'm guessing, used to be here. Now the new one, it was installed before I moved in, but it looks like a newer one. Vents out through the roof. So it doesn't really matter to me. There is, he pointed out, we might have water leaking in the wall. You can see how this is kind of bubbling up, the old paint there. Um, not much, I mean, not much I'm going to do about it. I mean, I don't own the building, so we're just painting it to look nice because I do have a business to run in here, and I don't want it to look too dumpy. Seriously, though, when's the last time this has been this empty? Oh, we're going to fill in these holes, too. These holes... I'm guessing someone in here previously had pallet racking, which is what those green lines here, those green lines were from. I'm guessing the walls were green at some point for some reason, and then they painted it white with their racking up. But anyways, when they took it out, they just destroyed the floor here. And the issue with this is when I'm moving a pallet on the pallet jack, it just, it gets stuck. So uh, it's really annoying. So they're gonna fill it in. He said the deeper spots, like right in here, should be fine. But the, the edges or the more shallow spots like that, they're, it might chip away. Um, they're gonna do their best. It's something that, I don't even think he's charging me to do that. And I figure something is better than nothing. He's got all this stuff he's working on. Uh, let's see, he didn't put today on the board. He probably forgot because it's been a couple of weeks. You can see the last day he was actually listing was the 22nd uh, because we were prepping for the warehouse sale and then we were doing the warehouse sale. Uh, but he's got this stuff to look through and whatnot. Um, so I mentioned I've got um, two truckloads of toys coming. I also bought another truckload the other day. It's got, if you remember that pallet of Walmart tools, uh, that I showed you in the sponsored video by Product Sourcing 101. Um, I did really well with those in the warehouse sale. 
So I got another pallet. It is a much taller pallet. It's not like the other one was like, you can't see my hand down here. I'm, I'm signaling how low it was. Um, it was low to the ground. It was maybe two and a half, three feet tall. Um, that's, that's the small one. I bought a big one. The small one, I think I spent $650 if I remember right. The big one is taller than me, cost me $1,500. I also got six pallets of yard tools, you know, leaf blowers and string trimmers. No boxes, customer returns, no packaging. A hundred bucks a skid. I figure that's worth the gamble. Uh, I have two pallets of Amazon apparel, which we're going to list a lot of it on eBay. I paid $800 a piece. I've got... Two other pallets of Amazon general merchandise, um, which I'm thinking will be a mix of eBay, local auctions, and the next warehouse sale. I paid 400 each. Uh, 14 pallets of overstock, mostly from Walmart, and a pallet of case-packed items from Lowe's. I think that's everything. It should be 26 pallets total. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, that cost me 9775 bucks. Uh, plus I have to arrange my own shipping. I'm figuring it's probably gonna be about 1200 bucks to ship that up here. So we're looking at, let's see, I spent 18 and a half on the toys, about $30,000 on three truckloads that are coming next, probably next week. I'm assuming it's a lot of money to spend. I still, before we have the next sale, I want to get a truckload of apparel. I want to get a Staples truckload, and I want to get an Amazon overstock truckload. I think that's it. So three more. So my goal is to sell off a lot of this stuff, um, either in auctions or um, some of it, like a lot of those toys. I'm not going to be able to move 18,000 pieces through the warehouse sale just of toys. So I'm going to be selling those off by the pallet, make some of my money back. My goal is to sell off enough, either in local auctions or by the pallet or on eBay, to make everything that's going to the next warehouse sale free. Don't know if I can do that, but we're going to try it. So that's where I'm at now. Not too much else to report. Busy day. And just as fast as I emptied it out, I filled it back up. So this is the stuff we have to get out of here yet. We've got three water coolers, a mini fridge, some blinds. This pallet of flooring, those bottom two layers, I think are the exact same thing, so that'll be nice. We got four cabinets. I've got a set of drawers that goes with it that's uh, stored away right now. Uh, we've got these two tables that are probably gonna be combined to make one. Here, we've got another pallet of flooring. Both of these pallets of flooring is one pallet, but it kind of collapsed on me. Then we've got here, you know, bounce house. I think this is another cooler. Yeah, another water cooler. Bounce house. Some of these canopies. Uh, four of them, I think, in there. And then some other odds and ends. Looks like another bounce house. And then right here, oh, I got to get this off the pallet so it's upright. But uh, another mini fridge in really rough shape. A cooler. Um, just some odds and ends. So we'll get that stuff out. Now, the loading dock started to look pretty empty. We moved the sign back. Boy, was that a t tight squeeze with the truck there. It was touching that pallet and almost touching this pallet. I had to climb over this pallet into the bed of the truck to get in here to disconnect this sign. But all that's left in here is trash. That's the lawnmowers, that's the shavers. That's trash, that's trash. I got two stacks of pallets. I've got this thing and another water cooler that needs to go. Uh, a bad dump in there. That's a deck box. I think that's about it. There's a, um, why can't I think of words? A grill back there that needs to get thrown away. It's the same as the grills that have been on these pallets, but it's heavily used, rusted, and broken. So that's, you know, we really cleared this dock out quite a bit. Tomorrow, I'm gonna get the trash out and I'm gonna get these two stacks of pallets out. So all that's gonna be left are gonna be those two pallets and then the random stuff I have against the wall. So that is it for now. I'm gonna go home because it's actually quite late. I've been working later. Oh, he's gonna go in the eBay area. I've been working later lately because my better half 
for the next three weeks will be working late. Her hours have now changed to be, um, what was it? Like 3 p.m. to midnight. Uh, she works at, at the airport, so basically when 3 p.m. until the last flight lands. Um, so that's, you know, obviously I'm not going into work first thing in the morning anymore. That way I can actually spend some time with her during the week. It looks so much brighter in here with these walls painted. Even though it's just primer and there's a long way to go, it just looks so much better. I can't wait till it's done. Loading dock is officially cleaned out. Turns out we're getting one truckload here Monday morning, one at our other building Monday morning. We got this, all the trash and everything emptied out. Got a few things here. I just listed this pallet of lawnmowers for 150 bucks. There are 12 of them and they retail 88 each. Of course, by the time you guys see this video, hopefully they'll have been sold. I've got these razors. We grab them from the bottom because the men's are on top, women's are on the bottom. I'm gonna restack those, get a new count, and list these probably for about 1,200 bucks or so. I think there's gonna be uh, over 32, 3,300 razors, packs of razors in there. And then this, under my cardboard boxes, is all of these shoes. So I'm gonna get these listed as well today. Hopefully we can make a little bit of space. Painters are late. Um, I guess the, the main contractor, he is sick. So he's trying to find someone to uh, help a little more. He had a guy with him uh, yesterday, but he was he's a, a mentally challenged fellow who was helping out. Basically, you know, community reach out. He's helping people uh, get a little work in. Uh, but anyways, he needs someone who's a little bit more capable, I guess, for lack of a better term, uh, because he's not going to be at full capacity tomorrow or today. Hopefully that gets done um, or finished today. But he said he should be here shortly. Next, I finally sat down with the landlord about that front of the building with the fireplace. Um, it sounds like we have to do uh, their, they offered to do all the work but it would be an extra 1200 bucks a month and they want me to sign a three year extension. So four years at an additional 1200 a month is uh, a lot of money. Whereas if I did it myself, I figured I'd get it done, the, the work done for 10, 12 grand, which is a lot less than 48 months of 1200 a month. Basically it would have been 1300 if we take it as is and do the work ourselves. Or what do you say about 2500 if uh, per month if they do all the work, uh, if I quick do the math here, that's a 1,200 difference times 48 months. That's $57,000. So, yeah, I would um, much, much rather just do it myself. Um, so I'm going to have my contractor take a look at it and give me a bid. The landlord was saying about 18 to 20 grand was his estimate. I think we can get it done cheaper than that. I'm going to reach out <coughs> to uh, some liquidators that I work with and see if we can get some of the stuff like flooring. If we can get a 1,000, 1,500 square feet of plank flooring liquidated, instead of paying five bucks a foot, maybe we pay two bucks a foot, a dollar a foot, that would save a substantial amount of money there. Um, I mean, we're not gonna find sheetrock. We might get ceiling tiles, but I want the ones that match the ones that are already in there. Although if I can find ceiling tiles cheap enough, we could just replace them all. Uh, and it would still be cheaper than just the addition, uh, putting new ones in there. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can finagle a few things that way. And um, you know, my contractor, I give him a lot of work. He cuts me some deals. So that would save a little money as well. So that's the plan. Um, hopefully we can get it done. I'm hoping we can get it done for about 10 grand, maybe 12 rather than paying you know 18 to 20 but even if we have to pay you know the landlord's estimate of 18 to 20 that sure beats paying 57,000 in additional rent over four years so that's kind of where we're at there there's also a company in the back of the building that moved out recently they had warehouse space so we're considering leasing that as well as an additional 4,000 feet of uh, warehouse space the problem is we would need to put a pass through somewhere around where that shelf section is, which is gonna cost about eight grand. And then we'd have to build a wall that connects 
to it from there. So really trying to weigh the options on that. Um, but the price is going to be cheaper than the other warehouse I'm in, which is about 5,000 square feet. It's a little smaller, but it's a lot cheaper. And it's gonna be right on site here. I don't need to rent trucks or you know hire trucks to move stuff between the two. I don't need to run back and forth. We can all be at one place. It's definitely a lot of value being under one roof, but that's something that I don't think I'm gonna do for a couple of months at least. I wanna get the front end done first. So, painters just left. Um, not sure, this was the last thing, or the first thing they did. So this one is pretty close to completely dry and it looks pretty even. If you look up here, it doesn't look that even, but they're saying, and this is similar to what I've seen before, uh, that it's gonna dry uneven. It'll be more even when it's done, when it's dry. So we'll see tomorrow if it's gonna require a third coat. Um, if it does, I, my cost for all of this, materials, labor, everything was 600 bucks. So if it needs a third coat, we'll need another five gallons of paint and uh, then labor, it'll be another 200 bucks. So that's not bad. He is coming back in to finish these, the, you know, the stuff that needs to be done with a brush, you know, along the window there, the corner, um, that between those, uh, under the air curtain, you know, stuff that he couldn't get with the roller. He is coming back to finish up tomorrow with the brush, uh, but then that's it. So we'll see. Um, and he said, you know, if there's any spots that need a little more, as long as we have paint left, probably this one, cause it's got no lid. As long as we have paint left, we're going to, uh, you know, he'll do it. You know, like stuff like this needs to be done. But um, it's gonna be 300, uh, 200 extra if I need a third coat, which I'm looking at this and it's, pretty even i don't know maybe i will because now i'm taking a closer look and i see kind of a line there and you know down here it, it still might not be completely dry though i'm gonna play it by ear we don't have time to do a third coat though because i've got a truck coming in on monday and i'm gonna be out of town throughout the weekend yeah that's the stuff they're gonna be touching up so uh that being the case how it dries, other than the touch-ups they're doing tomorrow, is how it's gonna stay for a little while until we have this emptied out again. After the next sale, is probably when it'll be emptied out again, and we'll do that third coat. The other thing is up there. Let me climb up, we'll give you a better look. So this is the color that it used to be. That's the color that it is now. That is quite the difference. Obviously, it's gonna have a solid line, the tape's still down. But, uh, oh, they need to get up there yet. The plan is to get this done. Uh, there wasn't enough paint to do this, or the primer more specifically, they ran out of primer. Uh, that's why I told them, you know, leave this as last. So what we're likely going to do is sometime over the summer, when this clears out a little bit, we're gonna come in and have them do this area. Um, beyond that, it's not that big of a deal. But you do see that line from down below. It is kind of noticeable. You don't notice it over there because it gets dark back in that corner. We went right up to that second pipe right there. So you don't notice the edge there. <coughs> but you definitely do here. You definitely will. So that is uh, the plan, but for a later date. This... I don't know. I'd like to get it done if we don't do this build out. If we do the build out, this could be covered with sheetrock. That's kind of annoying over there too. But honestly, to move everything, it's just not worth doing that. You don't even notice it. Uh, plus, the customers are really only up here. So we'll see how it looks tomorrow. We'll make a decision. But beyond that, I'm tired. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat. And I'm going to sack out. And it is done. A lot of touch-up work was done, corners, edges. You know, you remember along here, you'd see a lot of the stuff. It, to be honest, it could use a third coat. But, you know, there are a couple of spots there that could definitely use more. It is miles ahead of where it was. It just looks so much better. You remember, there were bare bricks here 
it just looks so much better than what it did. And, uh, you know, for the cost and time, we don't have time to do it now, but the cost and time to do it, I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, it's only 200 bucks, but um, looks like it could get a little bit of touch up down there too. But uh, he did leave the rest of the bucket for me. I don't know how much left is, is left in there, but there is some. So, you know, around here, this was all done. Over up along here. You got some on the cord for that. Um, I may need to paint that yellow again. That, that was a big yellow box where the fire extinguisher was. I don't know if I have to do that or not. I'm going to wait until the fire marshal tells me I have to do that, though, before I do it. It just looks so much better. We just don't have time with the truckload coming first thing Monday morning. Um, definitely don't want to, uh, you know, paint another layer right now. Also, these, I really don't know how these shallow ones are going to work. But he did the deeper ones. That was the main goal here. There's just some extra. We'll see how long that lasts. There's one there. And then this one. I know I'm going to step on, so I covered it up, but you can see on there. So how long will it last? I don't know. He even said he doesn't know. It might not last long, but it's better than nothing, I think. Um, hopefully the pallet jacks, the wheels aren't going to keep getting caught. Up here, you can see the line between the two collars. Like I said, we're going to finish up there when um when i get that emptied out more but this is it let me show you the before again we're gonna paint this wall here we're gonna paint from that edge down then we're gonna paint this entire wall yeah quite the difference here quite the difference so i'm at a thrift store and i found this this is a really cool vintage sony radio it's really neat but it's a shame some kids scrape the heck out of the top. I've never seen anything like this. I would, it's $2.99, possibly because of the damage and it's missing the battery cover. And I looked it up, it's not worth a ton. I would be all over this and I might even, it would be tough for me to even sell it if it was in good shape. I might have to keep it. Boy, is that a shame. I did find though this Air Hogs battery and charger for four bucks. Should get about thirty. For ten, this Toshiba DVD recorder worth about a hundred bucks once I get the remote. And then this is neat, a vintage CB microphone. There's I could not find this model on eBay, active or sold, but other ones by this brand in this condition are going for about forty to fifty bucks. And, you know, I didn't even look at what the price was. I don't think it's going to be a ton. Four bucks. Very well may have found the best sweatshirt ever. Well, here's how I made it about a thousand bucks. Not quite, but it must be DVD recorder day. $14.99. Look that model up on Amazon. It's 500 bucks. That's about four fifty dollars after fees. The ones with the hard drives in them always seem to go for crazy money and this one down here it's only five bucks there's the model for you it's a vcr dvd recorder combo if these work they are huge money on amazon hopefully they work and then i found this brand new this is kind of for my my own collection i love the back to the future series i'm pretty sure i don't own any of the movies so then we got a cool little keychain to go with it this would probably be a pretty valuable camera if it weren't you know in pieces are you kidding me another one? Oh, maybe not oh, i mean it's still probably a 75 dollars vcr dvd combo it's the gray one just needs a remote 